Right, we've been suffering with boost creep on this quite bad. Lower boost, it just don't want to hold it, it just creeps right up. These sidewinder manifolds are notorious for boost creep anyway. On a lot of drag builds and stuff, on big V8 things, they stick this wastegate straight on the exhaust as in. It seems to be the best way to control boost. So I think we're going to chop this, weld that up and leave that capped, and weld that straight to the exhaust housing it should help I'm not going to say it's well say it's going to be perfect because we're on a 45 mil gate and there's a lot of the lads in America run 60s on them but they don't seem to creep so it's more of an experiment more than anything but something needs doing so we're going to try that for there first and if it doesn't like the 45 mil gate still then we'll go to a 60 but, uh, yeah, it's more experimenting and see if it works. Trial and error, really. So I've cut this off. That, I weld a flat plate on top of that. So that's capped off. This one, turn the light on. It's now going to sit. Somewhere there, I'll probably cut it on a slight angle so it sits down more but the wastegate now sit there and I don't know how to explain it I tried this when it was running and there's other people have said they've made like 14 psi so with no wastegate even on they've just took it off gone down the road and they're still making boost um, if you put a piece of bag or polythene or anything here while it's running it actually tries creating a vacuum and sucking it through so it is just a bad design, but there's quite a few of these different style manifolds like this that are known for it. So I'll just uh, try this out and see if it works. I've marked it up, took the turbo off. And, uh, oh, there's the uh, bottom end ready for being forged. I marked it up. It's took me about half an hour because it's quite tough. Drill that out, gonna get the die grinder in, clean it all up, and then we'll have that welded. Hopefully, let's put it over where it's meant to go. Hopefully, it will do its job. That's all welded up now. Hopefully we don't have any cracking issues with it. There's plenty of other people do this and it works so we'll see. Most of this is back together now. Um, I've got work the next couple of days so I'm going to leave it for now. But this basically Slacking that off and put that in a straight line. Can go straight onto there. Weld the cap up for that. Connect these uh, vacuum parts back to the wastegate. And it's pretty much done. And then we'll test it and see what it's like. See if it's a lot more stable. Because it was roughly, we're well, springing it's I think 6 or 7 psi. And it was creeping to over a bar on low boost. So it needed sorting. We'll see. Well, I've cut them off, and now I just want piece extending. That should be it, really. It's all on. 
I'll put, well, I'll cut it down here and put a new piece in completely. Hopefully that will uh, yeah, stop it creeping. I'll warm it up. I'm going to take it out in 10-15 minutes, see what happens. Road's freezing though, so it'll be... I'll oh, spin it up. Spin, yeah. It's only on low boost anyway, I can see the well, creep yeah, mainly, so... I ain't got to go mad, but we'll see. Fast car, buy a Honda. What are you doing? 